also if you feel very tired after playing if you feel very tired after exercise if you feeling tired after yoga also if you are suffering with ibs that is irritable bowel syndrome for them also it has been seen this magnesium deficiency is very common sometimes even magnesium deficiency also cause irritable bowel syndrome because magnesium is a cofactor for various kind of enzymes that are needed for our digestion and for metabolism at various levels diuretics are those medicines which help to uh, take out more salt and water out of the body so for various diseases doctors are using diuretics in these cases also it has been seen there is lack of magnesium in the blood and uh, in the system and people feel extreme lazy lethargy low energy so people were asking what to do how ayurveda can help with this because it is not if some mineral has deficiency some mineral deficiency is there we can start popping pills for everything uh, like i mentioned whatever we can get from nature we should get from nature so one of the thing for uh, uh, removing this magnesium deficiency from your system is include boiled vegetables in your diet especially spinach and all the green vegetables everything that is green that contains a lot of magnesium in its leaves so this is one of the most healthiest way to have magnesium in your system especially whenever you are cooking try to cook green vegetables because they are very rich in magnesium and in this way if you are taking these vegetables you need not to take a supplement if you are taking enough amount of green vegetables in our ayurveda also it's been mentioned if you take more and more green leafy vegetables they will boost your energy the point was that like it contains a lot of magnesium and whenever magnesium levels are low in our system we just become very down and if we start using a lot of green leafy vegetables in our diet you will see in the time of 15 days or 16 days you will start feeling the change in your system in addition to that you can eat as a salad the uh, these raw leaves uh, of spinach and all the green leafy vegetables if they are organic in origin and if they are growing in your farm you can have it uh, anything that can be cooked that can also be eaten raw like spinach it is very very beneficial if you use spinach as a salad also in the cooked form other than that various kind of leaves like lettuce which we are using as a salad green things all which nature gives us which can be used as vegetables all these green things contains a lot of magnesium like spinach green uh, beans all these called frass bean in india we call it like green long beans uh, these beans also contain when you cook it uh, they also contain a lot of magnesium so green beans i don't recommend you just eat raw leaves can be eaten raw uncooked but beans you boil it properly and then consume it so this way you can such this way you can fulfill your magnesium deficiency make these green vegetables a part of life for your daily use especially in dinner if you have green vegetables these are extremely beneficial or even if you are having any wheat chapati or boiled wheat try to cook it with something green something green with it so this will uh, balance your magnesium in your diet that's why in ayurveda from age old tradition it's been mentioned like at night you should have a boiled vegetables that is very beneficial along with some wheat or cooked chapati in addition to that the other sources for magnesium is nuts so in the morning like i mentioned many times if you are soaking nuts how to eat nuts when to eat nuts regarding that i already have created video and there's a link below you can click on that link and you can see how to eat nuts nuts are also a very good source of magnesium so you can uh, start using nuts in your diet in addition to that avocados uh, they also contain enough amount of magnesium and another thing which is a very rich source of magnesium that is buttermilk and curd how to use buttermilk how to use curd regarding that we have already created video and link is there uh, in the description 
and you can make use of this link and how to use it, when to use it, all the things I have mentioned. So make use of all these things and remove magnesium deficiency from your system. In addition to that, there is a general guidelines like in the morning have enough fruits, then try to have anything cooked, try to consume it within 3 hours of cooking, don't go for very late dinners, they are not good for health and during the day try to have fruits that is healthy, try to avoid coffee, alcohol and all kind of junk food, packed food, tin food because they are also responsible for losing uh, magnesium in your system. So, it is very very important that whenever we are eating these things try to consume it fresh, try to consume it seasonal because nature knows best what is needed for our body and our mind. So, that is all for today's video. I hope you will like this video and if you have any question please write down your questions in the comment section. I will try to answer your questions in the best possible way. Also, if you are watching me for the first time and you have not subscribed my channel yet, so there is a bell icon, there is a subscription button, you can click this subscription button and you can hit the bell icon and you stay tuned with our upcoming videos. Also, if you would like to support us, there is a join button, near subscription button, you can click this join button and you can support us. Uh, also, many people were asking how we can I have Ayurveda consultations. So, leave in the comment section your comment. We will let you know how you can have Ayurveda consultation. So, that is all for today's video. With this note, I would like to say stay healthy, stay blessed, take care and do not forget to share with your friends and family. Take care. Bye.